you know, we're in an amazing new world. We're in an all digital world. And as you just saw, this isn't the dream force we wanted. The dream force we want is with all of you here and with us in San Francisco. You know, we want to be celebrating and uniting and coming together and inspiring each other and giving back. But we're doing it today digitally. And this is our new world. We're doing everything from anywhere. And that's why this Slack opportunity is so important. Because when we combine our Customer 360 platform and Hyperforce and everything that Brett just uh, a lot announced, wow, with Slack, takes everything to another level. Gives us the ability to operate our companies from anywhere. Now I'm going to tell you three stories. I'm going to tell you three amazing stories that happened this year. And these three amazing stories are all happening live right here in San Francisco. Are you ready for that? And the chapter one is really, we call intelligence. It's amazing. But it's a bigger, more exciting, more powerful story than that. Let me tell you, this is all about the state of Rhode Island. This is all about Gina Raimondo, the governor of Rhode Island. She's an amazing leader. She contacted me earlier this year. She said she's fighting the pandemic. How can Salesforce help the state of Rhode Island battle the pandemic? We have received that phone call from so many governors, so many mayors, so many presidents, so many CEOs from all over the world. We couldn't believe it. And that's why we built so many new products, whether it was contact tracing or vaccine management or whatever we could do to help others, we are going to do it. And now what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually give you an insight into what we've been doing this year. So when you read about some of these stories, now you're going to see some of the faces behind the people who've been doing God's work. Let's take a look at the state of Rhode Island. Uh, if you had told me in February that we'd be having this discussion in November, I would not have believed it. We didn't know how it would evolve. We didn't know how the curve would go. 23 hour days, sleeping in an apartment. Am I gonna be able to get enough ventilators? Am I gonna be able to open up new hospitals? Education, uh, transportation, the National Guard. Our systems weren't gonna be able to handle that. This was people's life. This was businesses. We had to shut down the whole economy, as did every state. What the governors are in a position of doing is trying to strike that balance between allowing folks to get back to work and school, because they need a job and commerce has to happen, but keep them safe, enter Salesforce. You're not looking at raising revenue or improving profitability. This is the business of saving lives. You need excellent partners because there is no room for error. You have to get it right the first time. Being able to have partners at the table that are eager to roll up their sleeves and see how can we make this work together and knowing how to pick the right people. Our partnership with Salesforce has been a game changer. I made a random phone call to the chief executive of your company. He didn't say, how much can you pay? You know, what kind of resources do you need? Who are you, governor? <laughs> it, it was, we're in, we want to save lives, we'll be there Monday. We have to be able to collect from various laboratories in real time. All of that takes the innovation, the brilliance, the uh, commitment. There is 100% certainty the partnership with Salesforce has saved lives because it's allowed us to move fast. Every minute matters with this disease. As the virus moves, the solution also needs to keep up with that. We started with test scheduling, but we had to do case investigation. We had to do contact tracing and we wanted to make sure that we did it in a safe and secure way. You want to have checks and balances because you're not just making a decision for one individual, you're making decisions for an entire population. So it was very important for us to have a single source of truth. And that is why Salesforce and the Customer 360 platform was so important for us. We can actually respond, not just react.
Companies like Salesforce in particular have stepped up over and over again. So, uh, you know, to help us get through the actual pandemic and do contract tracing, but not only that, but like, let's get together and put Rhode Islanders to work. Our ability to have that kind of partnership and join in and combining technology with public health and what's going on on the front lines so that we can make a difference together. It's on us, and when I say us, I mean the private sector and the public sector. I mean Salesforce and government to say, what are we gonna do about this to get people back to work, rebuild America, and restore our democracy? What an amazing story that is. It's an inspiring story, and it's a story I never thought I would hear, or know, or participate in. And yet here we are, live in Salesforce Park, in San Francisco, at Dreamforce, and I'm all by myself. But I do have my good friend online here with me, my new friend, someone I didn't know a year ago, but I know her now. She's an amazing leader, an amazing leader of our country, of the world. She's an amazing leader of the state of Rhode Island, and she's a tremendous visionary, and I'm so glad to introduce you to Governor Raimondo. Governor Raimondo, thank you so much for joining us today. It is my pleasure, Mark. It's, it's a thrill to be here, and I love seeing you and feeding off of your energy. Governor Raimondo, you know, you called us and you said, look, the state of Rhode Island has a tremendous pandemic. You need to implement contact tracing. You need to put people back to work. You need to distribute vaccines. And how could Salesforce help? And you know what? We have been so delighted to be your partner in doing all of these things. Maybe you could give everyone in the world a vision of how do we fight this pandemic? Where are we going next? And what have you learned over the last year? Thank you so much. Uh, we're still learning every day. You know, we're by far, we are not through the woods. But the few things we know is that you have to um, put the politics aside and focus on the science and the data and take action. And in, in a crisis like this, a leader can become paralyzed. It's overwhelming. I'm sure you have felt that way, but you cannot be paralyzed. You have to move, take action, be innovative, reach out to partners as I did with you. So, you know, where are we going? We continue to scale our contact tracing, leveraging heavily what our partnership with Salesforce. Contact tracing is only effective in so, par so far as it's fast. You need to quickly get people into isolation. You need technology to do that. And that's why I'm so grateful to you uh, and, and your platform. And then where we're going is to get this vaccine out, equitably distributed to everyone as fast and as efficiently as possible and maintaining people's trust. That's a key, key word, but I'm optimistic. There's light at the end of the tunnel. There is light at the end of the tunnel, Governor Mondo, and a lot of that light is coming from you. So we are so delighted and so grateful to your leadership and your vision and everything you have done for the world this year. Thank you, Governor Mondo, and thank you for being at Dreamforce 2020. Keep doing the great work, and thank you to all the Salesforce employees who are on the team helping America get through this pandemic. Thank you, Governor. You know, today we're talking about the future. We're talking about the future, but we know we're in the present moment. We also know the past is gone. The past is gone. It's not coming back. We know that. All that world that we were in, whoa, we're creating a new world. We're creating new sales force. We're creating a new platform. <laughs> We've even acquired a company, Slack, because we realize we need to position and create an opportunity for you, our trailblazers, for the future. And now I'm going to give you that vision and an incredible vision led by one of our most amazing executives, our executive vice president and general manager of Platform Trailhead and App Exchange. We all, love, we all know her, we all love her, Sarah Franklin. Sarah, can you tell us a little bit about the future? Thank you, Mark. As you just heard, governments must move faster than ever. COVID-19 has accelerated the digital imperative for both the public and the private sector creating connected, intelligent experiences for everyone, residents, customers, and employees, is of the utmost importance. That's why we launched Work.com and Salesforce Anywhere back in March. They are products that prioritize employee health, safety, trust. 
and we continue to innovate. We're laser focused on intelligence, integration, and automation. And today, I am excited to introduce to you Einstein Automate with the expert himself. Automate anything with AI-infused bots and flows. Integrate everything from systems to experiences and transform any industry with packaged libraries. With Einstein Automate, every organization in every industry around the world can go with the flow of change. And today, we have a new industry solution for the public sector. Let's take a look at these intelligent innovations that are helping governments go digital fast and helping local businesses get back to growth. Let's head inside. I want you to meet Ozzy. He's a local business owner looking to reopen his small business for outdoor dining so he can get back on track. To do this, he needs permits, approvals, possibly construction. He starts by visiting his city's website to apply for a parklet permit. This is no longer a paper process with a long wait line. With Einstein Automate, the process is digital, secure, and fast. He's guided through this intelligent experience thanks to the new public sector industry solution. Einstein Automate integrates data from other systems, personalizing the experience. And in just a few clicks, he's done. Now, after submitting the permit application, a lot goes on behind the scenes. And here, a permit officer is in his home office, working the application record that was automatically and securely created in Salesforce. Einstein Automate has the new MuleSoft Composer to integrate data from multiple systems with clicks, not code. Here are city zoning records from a homegrown system, fire department connections from an on-premise system, and municipal transport maps from an external system. And Einstein Automate has the new flow orchestrator to drive a complex series of processes, from space planning to safety checks, even invoking our new Salesforce functions to generate PDFs and use our platform services to send them via email. Now pay attention, as Einstein Automate is also anywhere you work. That could be in Teams, or Google Chat, or of course, in Slack. Wherever you are working, you are one slash command away from the power of Einstein Automate. And here in Slack, it's easy for the permit officer to confirm information, add notes, collaborate, and notify the construction officer of their next step in the process. Einstein Automate has orchestrated everything in the background, bringing automation, integration, and intelligence to the employee experience. Okay, let's fast forward. Ozzy's permit is approved, and Einstein Automate is smart. The flow guides him through the final steps to confirm dates and suggested next steps. This chatbot is using intelligence to have a conversation directly with Ozzy. Okay, he's ready to print his permit, emailed to him as a PDF. All right, now that Ozzy's got his permit, he can safely open his business for outdoor dining. And that's the power of Einstein Automate, making every experience intelligent with complete end-to-end -end automation from the front to the back office. Let's recap the innovation we just saw. New industry solution for the public sector with OmniScript. New MuleSoft Composer to integrate every data source. New Flow Orchestrator to orchestrate any workflows, all without having to code. To get your hands on all this innovation, check out the URL you see here. And an important reminder to support your local businesses, because together we will succeed. Now, back to you.